Hello, uh, thank you for joining us on the USUC Saddle YouTube channel dedicated to assistive technology research and development. This is another video that features a supermarket trial run of our ShopTalk system at Lee's Marketplace in Logan, Utah. ShopTalk is a proof of concept wearable system designed to assist visually impaired shoppers with finding shelf products in supermarkets. The system is based on a simple conceptual formula, independent blind shopping equals verbal route directions plus shelf barcode scans. This individual is another cane user. He has selected a product and is now following a set of verbal instructions automatically generated by the system from the topological map of the supermarket. The first leg of the route starts at the store's lobby and adds at the aisle where the selected product resides. When the shopper scans any shelf barcode, the system begins to use its database called the barcode connectivity matrix. The database associates each shelf barcode with an aisle number, the side of the aisle, the shelf section number, shelf number in that shelf section, and a relative position in the shelf. When the shopper scans any shelf barcode, the system may tell them you are in aisle 5 or move two shelves down, or scan five barcodes left, or walk 10 feet down the aisle. The shopper receives these instructions through a headphone, and after the target barcode is scanned, the shopper reaches over, gets the product, and puts it into the basket. The system's hardware consists of a computational unit, an LKO Model 1 computer, a Belkin uh, numeric keypad, a wireless barcode scanner in its base station, and a USB hub that connects all components. The user wears a small camel backpack uh, to uh, carry the equipment. The equipment is very light. The numeric keypad is attached by a Velcro strip to one of the backpack shoulder straps. ShopTalk does not handle product identification, so it is possible that a shopper could be at the correct location for a target product and yet retrieve an incorrect product. We have started to address a, vi uh, a vision-based uh, product identification in Shop Mobile, the mobile version of ShopTalk that runs on an Android phone currently. The description below this video has a link to a video of Shop Mobile. What was quite surprising and interesting to us in these trial runs is that lack of product identification did not turn out to be a major obstacle to visually impaired shoppers. Well-managed stores such as Lee's Marketplace maintain their shelves in order because their business depends on it, and employees periodically inspect the shelves to remove misplaced items and restock the sold items. In time, many shoppers learn valid audio touch and uh, smell cues to identify correct products. For example, a peanut butter jar uh, can be easily distinguished from a can of corn by touch. In the case of identical containers, shaking or uh, uh, verifying the container at checkout could be used to resolve product questions. The system is designed for mobile individuals who have sufficient O&M skills to navigate indoor environments independently and have no other impairments that could potentially impede navigation, such as serious cognitive or physical disabilities. ShopTalk is not designed to address physical limitations that may prevent individuals from grocery shopping, such as not being able to reach high or low shelves or being unable to carry heavy items. The level of, visually impair uh, the level of visual impairment, however, is not a factor in that shop talk can be used by people with complete or partial vision loss. To qualify for these experiments, each participant had to give us evidence of independent travel, independent walks around the neighborhood, and independent use of public transportation. And as you can see in the video, uh, we were following each shopper uh, with the Lufkin wheel, a distance measuring device. We used this wheel to systematically estimate the distance walked by each participant. We noticed that the more the participants used the system, the smaller was the total distance they walked in the store, which is not surprising. They just uh, kept learning the stores and uh, shortcuts, various shortcuts, and uh, uh, we're getting better and better at finding and uh, uh, at finding products and navigating the store. A key finding was that uh, verbal route directions automatically generated by the system were sufficient for our sample of independent travelers to navigate this supermarket reliably and retrieve various products. The more they used the system, the less they requested verbal route directions. As soon as they heard the aisle of a selected product, they would just go there independently and not even listen to the system's automatic route description. 
if this finding generalizes to the entire population of independent visually impaired travelers, it may suggest that verbal route directions may well be sufficient for independent blind grocery shopping. The important point of ShopTalk is that the store may not need to be instrumented with any external sensors such as RFID tags, Wi-Fi routers, IR transmitters, and so forth. And again, we would like to take this opportunity to thank the late Mr. Lee Badger, the founder and owner of Lee's Marketplace. We met with Mr. Badger in early 2004 when uh, this system was just a bunch of drawings and um, PowerPoint presentations. He grasped everything right away, understood what we uh, wanted to do, and gave us permission to use his store in Logan, Utah for our field experiments. Without Mr. Badger's support, Shop Talk could have never become what you see it to be in this video. So as you can see that uh, uh, this individual identifies shelf barcodes by touch, then you, uh, he uses the plastic stabilizers on both sides of the barcode scanner to align the barcode scanner uh, with, uh, 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 with shelf barcodes and then uh, scans them successfully. All of our 10 participants uh, were very very good. I mean, they they became uh, better and better at scanning uh, shell barcodes with time. So, and the the experiment, uh, the typical trial run, uh, would stop uh, when uh, the participant uh, reached. Uh, uh, cashier lane. Why does it keep telling me that I'm on aisle 10? Instead of 11. I'm not sure. Okay. You're the first one who's ever mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, run completed? Yep. Okay. So, well, you can go on and shut up.